Okay, so you've hired a real estate agent to sell your home, but all they've done is put a sign in the yard and put a listing for your property on the local MLS so that a buyer's agent can hopefully send your property info to a client of theirs and then show that client your home in person. So here's my question. Who then is actually doing the selling of your home? The listing agent who puts your home on the MLS and are getting paid somewhere around a 3% commission? Or the buyer's agent who you've never met and is most likely giving their client a tour of your home for the very first time? Well, you've probably figured it out. The wrong agent is doing the selling of your home and all of what makes your property unique. Hey everybody, this is Matt Stone and I am a local Utah realtor. Every week I try to deliver content to help people who are buying or selling in the Utah housing market. And I do this in an effort to provide education so that it's a little easier to achieve your real estate goals. So if at the end of this video, if you have any questions or wanna know more about how I help real estate buyers and sellers, please reach out to me and let's have a conversation. Uh, and then you can decide if we're a good fit and if it makes sense to you for us to work together. All right, so here we go, let's dive right in. The topic for today is when you decide to put your home on the market, who is doing the actual selling of your home and who should be doing the actual selling of your home? See, I submit that uh, the wrong agent is doing the selling of your home. You know, you hired a realtor, a real estate agent for a reason, to get your home sold for the best price possible for you, the homeowner, the seller. And because you really don't know or care how they do it, you trust that they know what they're doing. You trust that because they are a realtor, you know, they, they, they work for a brokerage, they're gonna know and do everything to get your home sold properly. Then why is it that that agent, the one you hired, not doing the actual selling. And, and here's what I mean. So when you go to buy a car or a boat or a phone, don't you talk to the person who knows all about the product? So why is it different in real estate? Listing agents all across the country are doing their clients a disservice in what they're providing. Now, not all of them, of course, but a great many of them. Uh, the best realtors out there are, are doing it right. What homeowners don't know is what a realtor, a listing agent, should be doing to get a home sold. You know, they think that a yard sign and an open house and a listing on the MLS uh, are all there is to do. But I'm here to tell you that those things are just the starting point. And, and while we're on the subject of these things, here's the reality of the yard sign, okay? It's just a marketing tool for the agent to get their name and their face seen by more people. And it's an easy way for the other agent, the buyer's agent, to find your house when they're gonna show it to their clients. Here's the reality of the open house. They're usually very poorly attended because they aren't special, they're not fun, and they're not marketed properly. Most of the time, open houses aren't even hosted by the agent that you hired. They're usually hosted by a brand new agent in a brokerage who doesn't know anything about your home and is just hoping to find an unrepresented buyer who comes by. And here is the reality of the MLS. Yes, it is a way to get your home blasted out to lots of agents and hopefully their clients. But there is no way for your home to stand out just on the MLS. It gets emailed out by other agents, many times automatically, to their clients along with any other property that fit their area and their budget. And then it's up to the prospective buyer to notice it and read about it, look at the pictures, drive over and see it from the street, and then request to see it in person. Other than the description on the MLS that your agent probably used ChatGPT to write and the photos that they probably took with their iPhone, what did your agent do to actually sell your home? Well, in my opinion, not very much. So as you can see, there really isn't much opportunity in these situations for the agent that you hired to present your home properly and to do the selling of why your home is so special. So what else is there? Well, there's a lot, okay? Now, look, to bake a good cake, you have to start with the best ingredients. And in home selling, these ingredients are properly preparing a home, getting professional photos taken, uh, getting a great interactive video tour, uh, and then doing great writing on the description. 
The best agents who really know how to sell a home start with these ingredients to create a standalone, unique property website. This allows the listing agent to use their team of photographers and videographers, cleaners, landscapers, handymen, and creative writers to really showcase your home and what makes it special. If you've ever watched some of the TV shows, uh, you know, where they sell high-end real estate, this is how they do it. And your agent should be doing it too. All right, so then with all of this really professional material, your home is then listed on the MLS and then shared with all the other real estate related websites like Zillow and uh, Trulia and Realtor.com. Now this is similar to what basically all other agents do, but the difference is the content here is of a higher quality from an agent who knows what they're doing and knows all about your home. Now after that, great agents use all of this amazing content to place paid digital ads on places like Google and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. And they also create print advertising pieces to mail out and to put in places like businesses where the most qualified buyers will see it. You know, we want your home to be seen by as many qualified buyers as possible and to really, really stand out. Now, this is the marketing to send out. But the best agents take it to the next level by using their face and their voice and their influence to reach out and directly contact brokers, other agents, and prospective buyers. I mean, after all, isn't the job of the agent you hired to actually do the selling of your home? I mean, great agents really want to physically get in front of as many potential buyers as possible. We use things like deluxe, properly marketed open house events that we personally host and attend so that we can tell buyers all of the special features they need to know to consider buying your home. Now, we also try to attend as many showings as possible. We do this so that again, we're not relying on the buyer's agent who has never set foot in your home before to give a proper tour and explain all the great thing that this home has to offer. We want to do that. Now, when it's not possible to attend all the showings, we, we're gonna present, we're gonna create and present a virtual showing video that buyers can follow along with on their mobile device. That'll show them each room in the home, the full exterior of the home, and every unique feature that your house has to offer. And all of this, all of the stuff that I just mentioned is done at no out-of-pocket expense to the homeowner. And we don't charge back to the seller any of these costs at closing either. It's my belief that an agent should have some skin in the game when it comes to selling your home. Now we provide all of these services out of our own pocket as a way to properly sell your home and as a way to properly earn our commission. Seriously, why hire and pay a real estate agent a commission when it's really some other agent or some other company like the MLS or Zillow who is marketing and selling your home or your property? Homeowners should expect more. So thanks for watching this short video. And again, if you have specific questions about selling your home or buying a home, please put it in the comments or reach out and let's, you know, let's talk. I will do my best to answer all of your questions and then you can decide if it makes sense for us to work together. Until next time.